Yeah, Shalom, Shalom. <coughs> yeah, there's the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, and only by his power, our Savior, the glory and majesty, and our power, both now and ever, so be it. Give him all praises, our honor, and our glory, to the heavenly Father, only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukhaha, Khodash, the one of the mighty chairs, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, who watch over our souls, Shalom to the Yakim, who avoided us, and seer, and seer is the only will, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukhaha, Khodash, chapter 1, verse 1 or 2 to you all. Stay strong, stay mighty. So I'm the brother that is a brother of Shah Benjamin, the brother chain greatness. Barbados. Just one line back off the head of this last video here. said and says then shall it be known who am I chosen because you're seeing a lot of um, doctrine the doctrine the true doctrine of Yahweh about Hashem Yahweh Shai you see in men uh, coming out how do the word works uh, and changing the doctrine the Apostle Paul warned us of these things and we've seen it play out life you see we've seen it play out life so the prophecy is life Quoting earlier, Shabon, but I think it is. The prophecy is live right now. So we're seeing we're seeing a lot of um, the other bishop that mentioned it is that happening in the world where War Tree on the rise, the MOTB. Right? Rumors of wars. We're seeing all that, but we also seeing we also seeing um, men coming in privately, right? Teaching damnable heresies, right? Not sparing the flock. We're seeing men perverting the gospel. The Apostle Paul warned us of these things. So this is also a prophecy as well. Right? Just watch um, Elder Manada Zappa did a video um, clip bit. Um, don't get the ministry blame. You got Sakari now. Um, he, changed, he changed the doctrine in Zechariah 13, verse 8 and 9, did it with the two thirds and the one third. And then um, now he putting up, we can receive weapons of mass destruction. But the scripture says we will receive power from on high, which is spiritual power, the ability to heal, the ability to raise the dead, the ability to uh, perform miracles, do miraculous things. Without Esau's weapons, Esau's weapons are upon us. We are going to receive, we are going to receive spiritual power. You see? We don't need Esau's weapon. The scripture says. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, so we don't need Esau's weapons. The main weapon we got right now is the, is the scripture, the truth, right? And that's what's really pulling out Esau, Edom, Empire. And a lot of our people are siding with the devil, changing the doctrine. No, no God don't love, no Yahweh doesn't love Jacob anymore. He loves Esau. When the precepts tell you in Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. 
right? Hold up, afterward he was he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. So Esau was rejected. But you got this reprobate saying that God loves uh Esau and hates Jacob. You don't love Jacob no more. When it tell you in John 3:16, for God so loved the world, what world did the Heavenly Father love? The nation of Israel, the 12 tribes. That's why he sent his son back. He sent his son back, right? To reconcile us back, to redeem us back to the Father. Bring peace again between us and the Father. Our big brother did that. You see? But you see rapper bits coming up and mangling the scriptures, man. But you can't hide the truth. You, you, you can't you can't you can't hide the truth. You can't uh, you can't you can't um, you can only you can only manipulate it, but you can't change the spirit that, that comes with this truth, man. You can manipulate it to suit you. You see? And to deceive the masses. Because you got all people over there got itching ears, right? They want to hear something new all the time. So yeah, they get send you, man. So go along, take that new thing and die with them. That way Lord say, you know what? I want to get this preset here, boy. Lord willing, I want to get this preset here. But then Lord, this is what our Lord tell wicked scribes and Pharisees, man, of all people, right? Oh, I want to see if we get out of here quick, but I'll push out, man, right? Hold a minute. You shall die in your... It's a lucky minute, man. Yeah, so this is this St. John here. St. John chapter 8, verse 24. I said, therefore, unto you. I said, therefore, unto you. That you shall die in your sins. You hear that? <laughs> huh? A lot of them die in one of sins, man. When they did not sin. You did not sin the son. Right? You did not sin the son. Right? You changing the father's doctrine, right? Yeah, yeah, so lock here, so lock here for storage. But nevertheless, <clears throat> God continue, right? To the spirit of the Abba Baha Hashem, I was shy. So, yeah, about to say, John 8. About to say, John 8, verse 24. I said, therefore, unto you, that you shall die in your sins. You know a preset that's kind of money there? Let me get a preset there quick. Before you forget, right? Let me get a preset there because you're seeing, you should you should see, you know, who's who's confessing the faults. You should see who is being sincere, right? And you should see who um, is teaching damnable heresies that the Apostle Paul warned us about, right? You should see who's doing their own will and not the will of your hour, right? And it's in 2 Ezra chapter 16, verse 77. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins, right? So your hour shall ain't freed you. You see? You thought you could do it all alone. You thought you could do it all by yourself. You see? It says, and covered with their iniquities, so Yahweh shed his blood in covering a lot of you people, boy. And from our nation, that we that what this video is targeting, our nation, brother. Yahweh shed his sins, Yahweh shed his blood, so lock here, is not covering two thirds of the nation of Israel's sins. And a lot of them, right, um, claim, uh, teaching the word. You see? It says, and covered with their iniquities, like as a field. Is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns. No man may travel through. So you just all tied up in your iniquities, you see? But you know, instead of you uh, saying that's lucky, you have a I will you. You know what I mean? And um, believing on Him, you see? And don't change the doctrine, right? Don't take bribes. You, 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 how you can sell out? Long as Judas goes up there, boy. May really study it. I better tell it like that. 
a lot of money to do this goats up there, boy. Right? You can get a preset there, boy. Right? You can get a preset there before you go back. And that is in um, Isaiah 33, verse 15. He that walketh, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly by doing what? But you're, you're perverting the gospel, right? You have no respect of persons, right? You're teaching the sea of the Lord. You're adding or taking away. A lot of the guilty of adding and taking away from the scriptures. God don't love Jacob no more, but he loved Esau. When I tell you Revelation, the 11th chapter, but the, but the court that is before the temple, leave out. Huh? But all of a sudden, God love Esau. It says, he that walketh righteously, and speaketh uprightly, he that despiseth the gain of oppressions, cut that someone again and again, right? True lying, true bribery, you see? These are your God who prosper in the world, you see? It says, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil, he shall dwell on high. So, hey, through the spirit, the men of Great Millstone and the affiliates, right, that fit this criteria, what can happen to them? He shall dwell on high. His place, there are, his place of defense shall be the munition of rocks. Bread shall be given him, his waters shall be sure. So you know what can happen? During the time of Jacob's trouble, right? During the time of Jacob's trouble, a lot of money can feed pain, boy. A lot of money can feed pain. You're not gonna be hid from the scourge of the tongue. You're not gonna be hid from famine. You're not gonna be hid from the sword. Right? A lot of money can feed the wrath of the Heavenly Father through his only begotten son, boy. Shit, man. It's right. A lot of money can feed our wrath, boy. Right? Let his blood be on us and our children. It's right. It says, Thy eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is very far off. So we can see the kingdom. We receiving the kingdom through this word. You see? We receiving uh, um, this oil. Right? We receiving this oil. You see? So, a lot of women, so again, Mother John. See, John here, right? 24, I said, therefore, unto you, that you shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. A lot of women are just waiting, boy. Right? What's that precept, boy? Um, to this condemnation. Uh, or then to this condemnation. Condemnation. I think that is the precept of condemnation. Or then to this condemnation. Um, St. John 3 19. So, like a minute. Ah, oh, Lord of mercy. So, like a minute, man. St. John 3 verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. Who's that light? Yahweh Shai, right? He's that light. We come in his same vibration, right? And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So we seeing, we seeing who's possessing the light and we seeing who's possessing the darkness because you got men perverting the gospel. They got men perfect. They got men actually. Look, I want to study this here. Yeah? The Heavenly Father says, when you read, when you read the book of um, Malachi, Malachi, the first chapter, he has indignation against the wicked forever. That's Esau in Malachi uh, uh, 1, uh, verse 4. I don't know what you think it is. Right? He has indignation with Esau eating forever. It tells you in the book of Numbers. That he's gonna have war with Amalek from generation under generation. But yet you got a man, a man, 
perverting the gospel and saying Esau can be saved. Esau is not the white man, right? And now God loves Esau and hates Jacob. There's so much goodness to refute that. So much goodness to refute that. I, I quoted John 3 16 earlier, Isaiah 44 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world before end. Israel is that world before end be? You say? If the Lord and love Jacob, what would he give us? Uh, put the, um, the laws in our inward parts. He said, What? Well, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. But you got men perverting the gospel. Why? Because what? Their deeds were evil. You say? Their deeds were evil. And the saying with the serpent, and the scripture said, Don't hand, John in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. But the seed of the righteous shall be declared. We see in the seed of the righteous, that is who? The Lord is elect. The Lord is elect. Allah, when the, Allah, when the main boy, when they get, when they get dirty heathens, boy. When they get dirty heathens, boy. When they get dirty, slacky. When they get dirty heathens, boy. A little, a little money made you pervert the gospel, boy. $150 million this minute. The elder from Baltimore brought up the, 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 um, the figures for one body. Remember the man, Jephthah? He was offered a position as a mayor. Right? And offered a huge plot of land. So he took the purse too. And that's when you see what? Men perverting the gospel, brother. You see? Pervert the gospel. So we seeing, we seeing who's possessing the light, and we seeing who's possessing the darkness. But Galatians 1 7, Galatians 1 verse 6. See, the Apostle Paul keep warning us. Each, each church he went to, he was giving us, he was giving us warning of grievous wolves, brother. Each church he went, he was giving us warning. Galatians 1 verse 6. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Hamashiach unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. You see that? So we're seeing, uh, they're using the same book, you know. They're using the same book, but what they're doing? They're changing, they're bringing their own private interpretation. That's in the book of Peter, right? Wait a minute. Um, that what they're doing. They're bringing their own private interpretation. Get out of there, man. You see? And it's good to see in the Colossians 2 and here, be real as any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach. You see? Um, what wanted to get? No, no slip my mind, man. Right? No slip my mind. Ah, it's a lack here, man. Don't slip my mind there, man. So we see a man perverting the gospel, right? Right. One put to what they have about Hashem, they have a shy, right? One private interpretation, man. I Peter. See me find out. Private interpretation. This is 2 Peter 1 verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So we, we speak in what does save the Lord, which is what? Prophecy, right? But it's got to tell you, Revelation 19 and, and um, uh, 10, right? Um, for the testimony of your house shall is the spirit of prophecy, right? So these men, these men, these men are prophesying, man. They're prophesying out of their own heart. They're speaking dusty of their belly. So they're changing the doctrine, they're corrupting it. You see? So these men are, are filth in the eyes of Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, brother. You right? 2 Peter 1, verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, by the will of man, 
But holy men, so these men, what these men doing? They, they, they get all the words that the holy men did all the way back. Them changing. Okay, imagine that. The words that was done, the visions that was received by these men, right? These scribes, they changing all of that, right? Putting a stain on these men name, right? And prophesying something different. It says, but holy men of the most high spirit as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So these men are moved by the Holy Spirit. So, right? what is, what is John 8 44? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bold not in the truth. See? So these men are abiding in the truth. These men are not abiding in the truth. What the scripture says, abide in me and I in you. For the, for the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. So these men can soon be that way. It's only a matter of time. Right? We can either see their um, judgment before the whole congregation or the Lord can keep them alive for the message because the scripture says um, the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust for the day of judgment. That's right? Real thing. Real thing, brother. So Galatians 1 and 6 again. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you. Yeah, oh, so you know what I'm doing? Ooh, you, you're, you're already putting aside your house. I could do it. I could do it before you. I don't need you anymore. I got this. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying, I got this. So you're removing yourself from your house, right? Onto another gospel. You see? Right. You're gonna remove yourself right from the living water onto another gospel. Which is not another, but there will be some that trouble you. And will pervert the gospel of Hamashiach. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so no, so say I know again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, and that ye have received, let him be a curse. For do I not persuade men or the more so? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I shall not be the servant of a Mashiach. So we see what's going on. We see what's going on. Lord, many a servant, you have a shy boy, the servant of oneself, boy. So you cut you 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 cut yourself, you cut your umbilical cord, boy. <laughs> you cut your umbilical cord, that juice that was flowing through you. Coming from the living water, John 8, John 7 38, he that believeth for me. As the scripture I've said, all this belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now uh, you can't be serious, brother. So I teach you to drive, woman. Right? So Lord, I want to remove you yourself from the living waters, boy. No juice ain't flowing through you. Right? New Living Translation, Galatians 1 to 10. Obviously, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of the more side. That's what that's really hopefully let obtaining trying to do. Seek the approval of the more side. What is good to say in Timothy? That we must please him who have called us to be a soldier, right? If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be a Mashiach servant. That's plain. I was never people ple a people pleaser. I tried that in the world and it didn't work out. It didn't work out, man. You know what I mean? It didn't work out at all. When I got one of my own testimonies, man, you know what I mean? But yeah, man, I think I can close there. You'll be seeing who's serving the Lord. I'll be seeing. We ain't serving the Lord. Was that slow bellies? These are clothes. Let me get me with that precept, man. Clothes with foot water. <laughs> huh? Clothes with foot water, brother. Huh? You got that idea, man. I shot shot, man. Yeah. Hey, I love when I dry, brother. When I still dry, boys. When I got the word, right? In my hand. But when I got the breath, meaning when I got your hover, while well, your hover shy inside, you wanna be? So when it's still dry, when the whole lady, but that like you but you well, you but you well, 
You know what I mean? And you got your hand protected as well. Right? But you're not drinking the water. That like the man. Yo, wanna like the man. Wanna like the man that was um by the pool. The man that was impotent that couldn't walk. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't walk. He was by the pool. And every I forget how it goes, but the angel will come down and trouble the water. And then whatever infirmity you got, you go and drink that water. And you'll be whole. The man right next to the water. Yeah. <laughs> He right next to the water and can't get drink at all, at all, at all. So I wanna got this word. Huh? I wanna drink this word at all, B. So I wanna wanna impotent, wanna impotent in the spirit. Wanna dry. Join it. Say join it. Wanna dry, brother? Yeah. Wanna dry, big man? Impotent in the spirit, man. Join it. Uh, I'm sorry, Job it. And 11, there's one. Can the rush grow up before mire? Can the fly grow up before water? <laughs> when they growing better? When they growing? Right? This is 2 Peter 2.17. These are wells before water. Clothes that are carried before tempest. To whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. <laughs> For a long time. For a long time, because the scripture says all oh, Israel shall be saved. When they come back, you're gonna see the laws in the inward parts, etc. You can be good, but you can be ashamed for a long time, right? Jude 1 and 12. These are spots in your feast of charity. God, this word is we, when we preach this word, being charitable to right? God, the word charity goes to the word love, right? It's right, and uh, Lord, I wanna. It's really spots when it's really when it's really um like gang green, you know what I mean? You see? Like you got a watermelon, you got a watermelon, you see a little or you see a soft spot in it, you got your right out whole watermelon. Even if you cut out that spot, that spot going right through to the rest of the watermelon. I don't wanna just I don't wanna just damage goods man, you know what I mean? You see? These are spots in your feast of charity. When they feast with you. Feeding themselves without fear. Yeah, we see. When they got no fear of the Lord, boy. Y'all really have no fear of your Hawa Baha Shem, your Hawa Shai, boy. You see? It says, clothes that, clothes they are without water. <laughs> hey, carry the boat of wings. Yeah, boy, what it just, hey, what it just, just gonna see don't be tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. What it just being tossed everywhere, big man. Everywhere, brother. Carry the boat of winds, trees whose fruit withereth. They felt fruit twice dead, plucked up by the roots. God bless, man. Huh? <laughs> hey, hey, what is that impotent man at the well, boy? Huh? What is that impotent man at the well? Right? And everybody's stepping, everybody's stepping punny, stepping punny, look, to get that water. Right? And then why would you find, finally, you have a shake him, and boom. Right, the man, you have a shade, um, heal the, heal the man, and or if, it, or if it was the, or it was the disciples again, and mixed up, but nevertheless, he was healed, so his sins was covered, his sin was taken away. But a lot of you sins are not taken away, you see. Verse 13 raging waves of the sea, <laughs> forming out of them, forming out their own shame, you see. Yo, wanna understand what I'm doing? Forming out their own shame. I wanna see this in the NLT, boy. Wandering stars, to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. So Jude, <laughs> Peter, you say this same thing, but you reprobates, man. Huh? Jude 130 in the New Living Translation. They are like royal waves of the sea, churning up the form of their shameful deeds. So it, it, it being made known, you see? It being made known. They are like wandering stars doomed forever to blackest darkness. Yeah, man, so hey, all, all we got to do is uh, keep praying to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know what I mean? That, um, you know, he keeps finding us worthy. Don't take them bribes. Right? Because 
what what Bishop Nate said, the worship Christians is always look around, you know, to see who who they could um I forget his exact words, but who they could snipe, who they could who they could get, you know what I mean? To to, to teach a different doctrine, right? Or, or an inclusive doctrine. Right? Esau could be saved, etc. Right? God love everybody. That is not the case. That is not the case. What you hear in Romans 9, verse 11, all down? Huh? It's going to say he has reserved the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction and the vessels of mercy, right? May receive the kingdom. You see? Real thing. Yeah, man, so I can close there through the spirit, man. I ain't got a longer, man. Right? You know, you got to finish reading this here. Verse 14, right? Jude 1, 14. And you know, also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince. So like a minute. And to convince all that are ungodly among them of all the ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers walking after their own lusts and their mouth speaketh great swelling words having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. See? Keep yourselves, so this for us now. This for us here, right? This for us. Keep yourselves in the love of the more side, right? But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Yahweh Shai, how that they told you there shall be mockers in the last time who shall walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. I read earlier. They're removing Yahweh Shai out the equation. So what they're doing? They separated themselves from Yahweh Shai be. You see? They don't want him anymore. They think they could do it on their own. That is a toddler. You feel you could run before you could walk. And that bursting up all your lip, man. You see? So like here, there's a fire at the school here, right? There's a fire at the school here. My son the tanks are here trying to go free traffic here, hectic. So that we see so much police. But nevertheless, right? We're gonna separate oneself from the Holy Spirit. You see? Right? At 7:51, you stiff neck and uncircumcised your hard ears. You always do resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do ye. And we seen it right here in 2024. Everyone that can't see it, that means we're blind. But ye, so this for us now, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of the Most High, looking for the mercy of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, Yamashiach, unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference. And others have before, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire. Even a garment spotted by the flesh. Can't. And I always start my readers with this. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of a savior, the glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Pray the lesson with any You know what I mean? Let me go along, build it up. Let me read it back, right? It says, keep yourselves in the love of the Mosai, looking for the mercy of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach unto eternal life. Verse 20, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. See? Right. So, hey, Ka'ahala Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Ka'ahadash. Shalom.